Hi Pisces, welcome back to my channel. I'm here to do your weekly messages. Let's start by using the Rebel deck. Let's pull a few cards. Oop, this flipped over. Okay, so we have fuck, shit is about to get real. Uh-oh. Fuck, you need your people around you. Uh-oh, what's about to get real? Shit. Hopefully it's not like massively real. <laughs> then we have don't fucking force it. Allow that shit to come to you. Okay, then we have, don't believe every shitty thought you have. Thoughts can be sneaky, lying bastards. This is like negatively thinking about shit. Oh crap, my card fell. All right, sorry. Thinking negative and stuff like that, lying to you and whatever. And then we have, get the fuck out of your head. You see, thoughts can be sneaky, lying bastards. Get the fuck out of your head get in your heart it misses you oh your poor little heart misses you have you been a little cold-hearted person <laughs> i'm just kidding all right so look at what we have we have them the i don't know what it, i think it's the mister the miser whatever uh tomato tomato this is pretty much telling you what is it that you're clinging on to what is it that you are possessing too much that you're not sharing that you're not using that you're just holding on to so tightly this could be literally saving up to if you're saving up to partner with someone because we have partnerships and alliances this could be you this could be you know saving to start um to start a company to start a business Okay, this could be literally you hoarding things that you're not supposed to, that you don't need to, that you're giving value to something that's just making you f look ugly, feel ugly, making you look like a, a, a person that just a tight person who does not like to share. Okay, when it comes to partnerships, this could be literally you uh, not giving, giving in your, your, your two cents, not giving in your 50% because you're partnering up with someone and you're just holding on to your money you don't want to share you don't want to participate but yet you are you know right here what what the fuck is this you know what i mean so this is telling you because you are holding on too tightly to shit money possessions that could lead to you suffering in silence you're not a happy person you could be like saying oh i have this i have that uh holding on to money hoarding shit and it's just like for a show, really. It's not making you happy. It's literally making you suffer in silence, okay? Then we have maturity. You really need to start looking within, putting childish things away, and start thinking on a more mature, wiser level, okay? You've got to let go of the things that make you feel ugly, make you look ugly, make you make you sad, make you suffer, okay? You certain sacrifices need to be made okay with the sacrifice here i feel like you will you i feel like you are realizing how you are or how certain things are or how, how they go and that certain things don't matter and possessions they don't go with you when you pass you want to leave a legacy so i feel like that's waking you up that's something that's coming to you and i feel like you're going to snap out of it quick and you are definitely going to tap into that so a sacrifice is going to be made so I feel like you're going to let go of that. You're going to share your, your money or your possessions and you're going to invest in something great. Okay. And that's good because you're, you're taking notice of that and, and you not sharing or not getting out there and making wise investments and doing something for humanity or to pass on the legacy or whatever. It's making you sad. So, you know, you need to really look within in your heart, get out of your head, your ego, your pride, look in your heart. Okay. And then... With that being said, you will manifest and create something beautiful. You're going to leave behind the legacy. The reason why I say that is because we have the magician. Okay. This is you. You have everything you need. The tools. Why? Because you hoarded it for a long time. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just kidding. <laughs> the magician. This is you having all the tools that you need to manifest whatever it is that you want. Um, you have the star card here. So something will be illuminated to you. Spirit is going to open your eyes and, and I feel like you're not getting any younger. You're getting, you're probably someone more mature. So 
I feel like this message will bring you hope. Whatever it is that you're that you're thinking and feeling is bringing you hope because you know that when you leave this world, you want to you want to leave something behind, something very touching. So because we have the six, uh, I mean the Son of Wands with creativity, so it's kind of like you found a new passion. This new passion that's going to spark inside of you, Pisces, is going to be the beginning of something amazing, okay? This probably needed to happen for a reason, because if that wouldn't have happened, maybe you wouldn't have gone through this. So remember this, I am here, I am exactly where I need to be, or else I would be somewhere else, okay? Or else I'd be elsewhere. And um, so don't be, don't be, don't feel bad for being this way and because you were like this or whatever you have to go through certain things so that you can snap out of it so that you can really start manifesting something great something amazing and i feel like you will be doing that i'm telling you this is the beginning of something beautiful okay I'm telling you you're you found a new passion something's going to spark inside of you where you're just going to be like okay i know what i need to do it's going to be your new possession, your new obsession, but a possession in a good way, not in a bad way. <laughs> and you are going to be feeling hopeful. You are going to leave your Hollywood star in the world is what I'm seeing here. Okay. And that's going to be the sacrifice that you're making. You're going to let go of that. You're going to realize that. And you are definitely going to make a print and in life into this lifetime and pass it on. If, if it's for your grandchildren, it's for humanity is for a good cause whatever it is it's going to lead to a great outcome okay and this is something that maybe you wished upon and it's going to be happening for you okay so there you go my love all right pisces this was your weekly message please give it a thumbs up like share and subscribe and i'll see you in your next video love you guys just keep swimming